Welcome to the homework for lesson 26. This is module six of first grade. Get your name on here first, because once we start getting into these tape diagrams and word problems, you're not gonna remember to come back to it later. And it's read, draw, and write. That's our problem solving process. Reading the word problem first. Try to think of it as a story. And uh, they're really short, like two sentence stories usually. There's not that much that happens. And then there's a question. A sentence that after the story that will ask you a question about the story. Um, I try to summarize the story and that's usually pretty easy to do as long as you can read it and then uh, write a number write a number sentence and statement that matches the story. And here's our sample our example tape diagram. Most of them are going to look something like that. Fatima walks 15 blocks home from school. Ben walks 8 blocks. How much longer is Fatima's walk home from school than Ben's? Okay, so we know um, Fatima and Ben are walking uh, home from school, and they walk different distances, and we have to figure out how much longer one is than the other. So here's F, Fatima. She, has, she walks 15. 15 is more than Ben's 8, so she's going to get a longer piece of tape. This is 15. Ben is 8. And we have to find out how much longer is Fatima's tape than Ben's. So let's see. That's going to be, if they were the same, then we would just think of this would be about the same right here. So we have to figure out what this is, right? That's the more, and that's how much more. And now when I think about it, if I leave this 15 right here in the middle, it's going to look like it's more than 15, but it's not. The whole thing here, oops, sorry, that was my eraser. This whole thing is 15. And I know that, so I don't know, I don't know this part here, because that's the more. But I do know this part here, because it's the same as Ben's 8. So if this is 8, I have to figure out this missing part. So my number sentence, try to find out, I know the whole, I know one of the parts. I'm going to subtract and find out what the missing part is. 15 minus 8, you can use, take from 10 to find that out, right? Because this, this would be 10 and 5. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 plus the 5 is 7. And that's, I'm going to box that because that's the number I was solving for. Uh, Fatima's walk is 7 blocks longer Maria bought a basket with 13 strawberries in it Darnell bought a basket with four more strawberries than Maria how many strawberries did Darnell's basket have in it so Maria and Darnell bought baskets of strawberries uh, the first sentence here Maria bought, so Maria, here's Maria, her basket, her piece of tape has 13. Darnell bought a basket with four more. So we don't know how many strawberries Darnell bought, but we know the more, don't we? And you don't have to draw yours in a different color, but I just like it to show the more. We know the more is four more. And we know this part, which is the same, that's 13. Then this, which is the same, also has to be 13. So this is what we have to find out, is the whole thing that adds up to Darnell strawberries. So that's 13 and the 4 put together, just like it looks in the picture. 13 plus 4 equals 17 
Darnell has 17 strawberries. There, that's how it fits. Let me shrink this in a little bit. You can see all of it. All right, three. Tamara has five books checked out from the library. Kim has 11 books checked out from the library. How many fewer books does Tamara have checked out than Kim? So Tamara checked out books. Kim checked out books. Tamara has fewer than Kim. So Tamara checked out five books. So let's just draw Tamara's piece of tape. Not a lot of room here, so uh, I'm going to try and work from the left edge as much as I can and work over to the right. So here's Tamara and her, she, there's her five books. Kim has 11 books checked out. So here's Kim and she has 11 is going to be more than five. So her tape's going to be longer. Make sure you start with your endpoints kind of matched up like that. And this is 11. And what I need to find out is how many fewer does Tamara have checked out? So if Tamara has fewer, that means Kim has more. And if, if I find out the more, then it'll be the same as the fewer. That's the more. This part right here that sticks out more. I have to find that out. Because um, if Kim has more, then Tamara has less or fewer. And that's what I have to find out. So I'm going to fix this a little bit. That 11 is really the whole thing, including the more. And I know that if this part is 5, then this part has to be 5 because they're the same. So just like a number bond, when I'm trying to figure out the whole thing is 11 and part is 5. I have to figure out the other part. That means I'm subtracting. So 11 minus 5 equals 6. You can use take from 10 to find that out. Box the 6. Uh, Tamara. And it's not that Tamara checked out 6 books because we already know she checked out 5. It's how many fewer. Right? And I underlined that part. How many fewer? Tamra has six fewer books. Kiana picked twelve apples from the tree. She packed six fewer apples than Willie. How many apples did Willie pick from the tree? So, okay, reading it, Kiana and Willie are picking apples from a tree, and Kiana picked fewer. So that means Kiana's going to get, well, it says right here she picked 12 apples from the tree, so let's start with that. There's her 12. And Willie, she picked fewer than Willie, then that means Willie picked more. Because right? if she had less, then Willie had more. So Willie gets a longer piece of tape. Uh, she picked six fewer. Well, if she picked six fewer, then Willie had six more. So this would be the more right here, and that's six. That's the more. And how many apples did Willie pick? So he picked this much. Kiana's 12 plus the six six more so and we got the six more remember the six more came from if kiana had six fewer than willie had six more so that's how we figured out how much the more is so then we have to figure out those two put together 12 plus 6 equals 18 box that willie picked 18 apples. Now I'm going to start doing these a little bit quicker with a little bit less explanation. Uh, if you have a hard time with this, 
keeping up, drawing the picture and labeling everything and all of that, then just pause it or try it. Yourself. Better yet, uh, pause it and try it yourself and then see how you do. If you get stuck, you can watch some of it and then pause it and watch a little bit more. Or just go back and watch it again. I'll never know. During recess, Emmy found 16 rocks. She found five more rocks than Peter. How many rocks did Peter find? So Emmy and Peter are finding rocks at recess. And Emmy found more. All right, so let's see. We know Emmy found 16 rocks. So I'm going to start with Emmy and give her 16. She found more rocks than Peter. So here's Peter. If she found more, Peter found less. I'm going to try and keep these endpoints matched up. It's actually, that's pretty important. It's the whole idea of a tape diagram is you, when you compare two things, you want to make sure that those, that one of the endpoints, usually the one, the ones on the left are matched up so that when you're comparing them, you can see which one sticks out more. Uh, she found more. So that means Peter found less. So Peter's tape is going to be shorter. And we don't know how many he found because it's actually asking us how many rocks he found. So she found four more. So that means that this is the, this part here is the more. And that's going to be, oh, five more. So she found five more because it says five. That's the more. And now this 16 doesn't, it's not, this part is 16. It, I'm going to fix that because the whole thing really is 16. Those two parts put together are 16. So if I figure out this, then I'll know. If I figure out this, then I'll know that because they're the same. That's the whole idea. That's the, that's the plan. So I know the whole, 16. I know the part, 5. And that's how I find the other part is I subtract. 16 minus 5 is 11. And Peter found 11 rocks. And now you could use take from, um, you don't even have to use take from 10 for this. Because if you look at your 1s, you've got 6 here and you're only taking away 5 1s. So you're going to have a one left over and you're going to still have that 10. So you don't really even have to take from 10 to solve this one. You could, and if you want to draw quick tens and cross out to figure out that subtraction, if you're still doing that and it works for you, then keep doing it and write that stuff down. If you have any space and right here, I do have some space. You could have done that right there, for example, or you could do it on the back of another page or some scrap paper. The first grade football team has 12 players. The first grade team has six fewer players than the second grade team. How many players are on the second grade team? So we, okay, we have two football teams, a first grade team and a second grade team, right? And the first grade team has fewer. That means the fewer. That means the second grade team is going to have more. Because one has less, the other one has to have more. Fewer is, means the same thing as less. So the first grade football team has 12 players. So I'm going to draw this. Uh, F for first grade, and we know what to give them. That's 12. And the first grade team has six fewer than the second grade team S. So the second grade, first grade team has fewer. The second grade team is more, so they need a longer piece of tape. Starting at the same endpoint, as close as you can get it. Uh, and so if the first grade team has fewer the second grade team has more and we know what the more is because it says six fewer here so that's the same as six more here that's six players so if this is 12 then this is 12 and we have to find out the second grade all of the players on the second grade team we have to put 12 and 6 together to find that out. So that's 12 plus 6, and that's 18. Not much room to write this, but 
I'm going to squeeze it in. There are 18, 2nd grade players.